Kutu. What's up, Damon's gang? It's your girl Nins, and today I'm coming at you guys with a vlog. You guys, I'm about to step out with my kids. I just want to give you guys an update of my face. This is my chemical peel, so you guys can see the peel. I'm gonna wear a fitted cap when I step out, but you can see the texture of my skin right now. All this is about to come off. But yeah, so if y'all don't know, went and did a chemical peel, and this is how my face is looking right now. This is like day seven. This is actually a week from my last chemical peel. So this is how it's looking. I got one more week, and then I go to them the following week to have an event next Saturday, so I told them I can't come because I'm wearing makeup to this event. This is my baby, Amari. Amari, say hi. hi. Say hello, Amari. Okay, watch this. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you don't know. Look, you know who he's saying hi to. So you go from one phone to the next, sir. Are you serious? Are you about to record on TikTok? What you doing? He, look, he's going to Instagram. I mean, YouTube on this one. This shit. Somebody had wrote me and it was like, oh, um, make sure Mari's not addicted to the phone, blah, blah, blah. I don't give Amari the phone that much, okay? He literally only has a phone when I'm getting ready and like, Probably at night, but he normally is like a TV baby because I don't want him to have devices and I want to control what he watches So he don't be having it like that But y'all if y'all are new to our channel, please be sure to like comment and subscribe join us by hit that red button and Turn it gray because gray is the way and because we are Litty! I'm gonna step out. I'm going to put on one of you know hats because I can't get too much sun on my face, so I have on sunblock. I'm going to the mall real quick with the kids because homeschool is officially over for Aiden. I can't do it. Aiden homeschooled for two months. I withdrew him out of elementary school January because I was like, okay, you know what? We, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna teach him all this stuff. And then I was teaching him. I gotta put the password because now he, he crabbing next to me. Look, look at the beggar next to me. the gang and I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> okay, when Aiden was in school, oh, no. he was not doing good at all. Like, at all whatsoever. When I tell you not doing good, it was like, he was bringing me grades that I would be scared to bring my parents. And I don't even understand how he was okay with bringing me those kind of grades. Oh my God. I was so like, aggravated with the teachers keep calling me. I was aggravated with him not performing well in school, all that stuff. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna withdraw you and I'm gonna teach you because I can teach you better than your teachers for some strange reason. Aiden understands my teaching. But it didn't work out because I be working, like my work hours is like I'm kind of stuck to a computer and I would teach him like late night after hours and stuff like that. But like while I'm working, he's just chilling. Like it just didn't look right to me. Like he on the Oculus, he on his phone, he watching TV, he watching YouTube. And people are at school like learning and I'm like, bro, like he was on homeschool off of time for learning, like this software. And I just felt like it wasn't enough. And I gave him supplement books from Amazon. He had like the IXL workbook. He had a spectrum reading workbook. Even with all of that, I just still felt like he needed to be in somebody's school. So I enrolled him into a classroom setting school. I don't like the school that I had to put him in because I didn't want to put him at his old school because his old school is like 25 minutes away from me. Oh. It was a lot with Amari therapy sessions, so I used to pay for bus for him. But this one is like literally around the corner from the house. So I was like, look, just finish off your fourth grade year at this school, and then for fifth grade, you'll be somewhere else. I registered him yesterday. He starts on Monday, so I have to get him a uniform. So they're gonna transfer him. So he's going to one school for like probably like a week or two. And then I did like a parent thing called pro-choice, I think like that parent choice, where you can transfer your child to another school that you want them to go to. So I'm moving him from what they considered was our homeschool to a school that's like literally down the street from the house. That's where he's going for now. And then I feel like he need like a, I don't wanna sound racist or nothing, cause I'm not, but he need like them hood teachers. Like, you know, like some black, black teachers. His teachers are so nice. They're like, Aiden, what did I tell you? What did I tell you, Aiden? Aiden, I'm gonna call your parents. Aiden, I'm gonna have a 
teacher conference. Aiden in my office now. <laughs> Aiden quit. And I be like, dang, like, you can't tame him yourself. When I was in school, I promise you my teachers had us in check. Like, you know, like, we was scared. It was no parent-teacher conference. It was a, sit your down, little boy. Come here, who you talking to? They do that little stare. And you'll be like, oh, snap, I'm about to get in trouble. That's what he needs. What? I feel like that's what he needs right now. So we finna end it off in the hood. What? I'm playing, not in the hood. <laughs> He's gonna end his fourth grade year with a little more stricter type of environment as far as school goes. Cause I need him to get tamed like at home. He's he's like cool, like you know, like he let me teach him and all that stuff. But I don't understand what be going on in school. Like I don't know if he's showing off, he being in class clown. I don't know. That's what's happening right now. So we finna head to the mall. We finna take you guys with us. Come here. Are you excited? I don't want to show over there because. I got a lot going on right there. Are you excited to be going back to school? No. What? I wanna stay with you. You gonna see me in the next four hours. School is only from like what, eight to three? What is that, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. Oh, seven hours. That's great. You can make friends. You can play with your friends again. Mm -mm. You don't wanna make friends? Mm -mm. <laughs> my friends. You gonna come back to us. You still wanna homework. That's what it was. Yep. Boy, if you don't. What's your goal this year for the rest of the school year? Try to make it to fifth. By being good. What does it mean to be good? What it means to be good? Yeah. Um, what it means to be good is like, do your work. Mm-hmm. Do your homework. Mm-hmm. Not get into fights. Um, Listen to your teachers. Follow instructions. Don't be talking in class. Where do you play? You're only allowed to play where? In the playground. That's why I be telling him. You say in the classroom, don't play with me. I be like, stop playing in class. You need to be playing in the playground. That's when you play. In class, you need to be listening and learning. But anyways, let's go, because I'm tired of rambling to you guys. So we finna go ahead and head out there. Let's go, kitties. Come on. All right, I need to pack Amari baby bag. I put pull-ups on him, because we ain't got no time for no accidents. Get my purse. Did you put on lotion? Okay, because you know how you be. And then Aiden been harassing me for Panda Express, so we might pop some. Can you go give me three pull-ups, please, in my room? Yeah. Bella, you're not going nowhere. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, ma'am? Ma'am. Bella be taking socks out of people's shoes that be by the door and just be running around the house with it. Say hi to the vloggers, the vlog fam. Look who we got. Aiden, he said hit the back. Welcome back. What it is? Welcome back. Because I have kids. I don't even want to show y'all the mess because these kids is terrors of the vehicle. Why you took your shoes off, Amari? What are you guys doing? I ain't even had to tell you to say hi. My face, I got a chemical peel. It's peeling. It's a chemical peel. Why is it peeling? Are you bald headed? You know that's a never. Okay, I just put on a cap. Cause I can't let sun touch my face too much. What it is? Amari, look at the stranger. Tap me up. The stranger. Is, Say stranger kiss. danger. Mm. Say kiss. stranger danger. Kiss. We ain't see you in like two weeks. Why you ain't come last week? My dad was supposed to let me know when he was coming. They said he didn't call me. I guess he wanted me to call him, whatever. And then just I just didn't come. Oh, so I was yeah, chilling. Like, I don't know. It was just vibing. Like it was quiet, peace, quiet. You feel me? So. I wasn't really complaining. So what you gonna say, our house ain't quiet? Hell no. Why are you talking about hell no? I'm an adult. Well. Oh. Talk to me like a parent. I'm not really. <laughs> Y'all see my life with boys? Me, car. What? What is this language? Let me go ahead. Like I said, we finna go to the mall. You want Panda Express? You ever ate Panda Express? Aiden keep harassing me for that. Never had that. I think you should try Cajun Grill, Aiden, if you want orange chicken. What is that, Cajun? No, Panda Express has the best orange chicken. You've never ate Panda Express. Where did you get that from? No, I never ate that either. Your parents' house like a long time ago. They gave you Panda Express? Mm -hmm. oh, I think I seen on Instagram reels like this um this Chinese restaurant. Like I think they had like a white wrap inside the um Ew. Uh, hibachi food. Ew. No. But we about to head to the mall because we still didn't make it to the mall yet. And my face, I feel like it's getting worse as the day is going. Why are you trying to act like you on a business call? This is this is your business right here. Bam, oh, bop. Do you want long sleeve, short sleeve? Uh, Aiden, you ain't got no business you running right now with your phone on a black screen. Uh, <laughs> you are not on a call. What shorts you want? Look, this is long sleeve, it's hot. <sighs> you wanna wear cargo shorts for school? You wanna wear car um, khaki pants? You got beef, Jit? These kids are so annoying. Did you say I'm annoying? 
Get beat up in this store. Hold this real quick. Oh, what? Because I'm about to go whoop a jit. Hold on. What you said? What you said? Oh, no. <laughs> I had to beat him up real quick. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, no, don't hit me. Hit me. That's how it is. Uh, you too. You get it too. You get it too. Get it too. Like, no, mommy. He walking over there mad because I gave him pants, different pant sizes. He keeps taking his shoes off. Now I gotta go find him some shoes because obviously it's either the shoes don't fit or something. Let me see. It's too tight. Pull it down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna try you like that. All right, so this is the size 10. Let me see. Aw, you're growing up. You're size 10 now. This one good too. Does it have that thing on the inside for your waist? What do you think? Oh, okay, good. All right, next 10. So we're gonna try on all the 10. <laughs> Look how Mari walk around the store. He walk around his socks. He said his shoes too small. You need new boxers? For school? I'm gonna buy you Walmart boxers. Yes. We're gonna have to carry Amari. I think his shoes are too small and he got like 12 size nines. You want Crocs or you want like slide on shoes, Vans? Comment down below. What would be the best shoe for Amari? Should he get, should he get like Crocs or like some Nike? No, you already got Nike sandals in You can't even walk around with that curve. Right so we're gonna go to Crocs. Get you some cool new Crocs. No, bye, bye, bye. We gonna do what? I'm gonna get you a spider hoodie. Isn't that hoodie like three hundred dollars? These kids. Like two fifty. That still sounds like a lot of money for a sweater. Designer sweater. Spider designer. Yeah. I'll think about it. Give me a list, and then I'll think about based off your list. Spider or Gucci socks. Gucci socks. What else? Shall you get your Crocs too? <laughs> got Crocs. I like this one. I like these black and Crocs. Oh, now you don't like it, but you wear them every day. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, no. They, they creased. They creased up and did you because you wear them every day. They look but. dusty. Baby blue, you need a solid color. <gasps> oh, Aiden. <laughs> Let me see. Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, yeah, I knew when I saw this, I was like, oh, you're going to like this one. You're not going to go with all your looks, though. And it looks shiny. It looks very kitty. Oh, I like these. I'm already getting this. Amari's gonna get this in black. Why you why you look sneaky? What did Amari want from you? Your drink? You should have got him one. I need these. Oh, why are why are you not shiny? Aiden, look, it's shiny. You are you gonna walk around with these shiny cross? Yes. Joaimo. What is Joaimo? How it fit you, Aiden? Perfect. <laughs> you gonna walk him? I didn't come for him. Right, on, I came on. for him to get a shoe. Remember the first time you asked us for Crocs and we was like, no, you ain't getting no Crocs, da, da, da. And then now, uh, everybody want Crocs. That's our trends. Boy. Like the spider hoodie tree. Then you like, I'm starting to get a spider hoodie now. Who, who want, we don't want one. Pow. I need to get him a Croc. I really came for him. So do I have this in kid size? Is he embarrassing us walking around the mall with some socks on to get shoes off? All right, so we're in Journeys right now and we're about to get this shoe for Aiden. How much is that? It'll go with his uniform. Comment down below what you guys think. All right, y'all, so this jig, he did not want Panda Express anymore. So we went to the food court and got some food. I said, Aiden, they got this place. The place got like orange chicken like you keep asking for. You think he wanted it? No. This look like a beard. Like the little glue thing on my face is like a beard. People probably looking at me crazy. A lot of people been walking up to me and I'm like, dang, my face is just killing. I had got this. I had got Cajun Grill. And I also got Popeyes. And Aiden got Popeyes. Amari got Chick fil A. Ozzy got Chick fil A. Ozzy wait until I'm done vlogging so he can eat. You don't even drink Kool Aid. Aiden want to be hood so bad. That's why he wants to bless me. Amari just dropped all this juice on the floor. I don't know if y'all can see all that water on the floor. All of this on the table. Amari, get down. Get down. Get down. I'm about to go, you guys, because I'm annoyed. <laughs> this is why I don't go out with kids. I didn't drink your drink. Bro. No, you drank drink no. You drunk your whole drink here, so. Yeah. He's calm now. He's done running around, so he came to go lay his legs on me. This is his reset button. He soon start going crazy, so. 
I'm gonna go while he comes. He probably tired. 12 seconds later. Why are you standing on me? Who does this to people? All right, we finna leave y'all. All right, so we are home right now and I was so tired, but Aiden wants to do a movie night. So we had stopped at Dollar Tree and bought a couple of items. Y'all can definitely go ahead and check out my reel on TikTok and my Instagram. But we had did a video on the supplies that we bought. I'm gonna show you guys it real quick um, before we start our movie. I don't know what we about to watch. Aiden's over here trying to pick something out. Ozzy's upstairs doing a birthday wish list. I don't know why, because his birthday is like in two more months. So everything here literally cost me $20 total. But we got like these little popcorn things. They come like two for a dollar. Oh my God. Then we got these little Slim Jim beef jerky sticks. We got chips, we got Powerade. This is like $5 for the pack, but it comes like eight. Um, we got some movie candy and stuff like that. But y'all, if I was at the theater and did this, the movie tickets would have probably cost me like close to $15 with tax. The food alone would have been like $40. And I just fed four people, three kids and an adult for $20. If y'all ain't never do a family movie night at home, definitely go ahead and try it out. I ain't never do this our first time doing it. I just thought it'd been pretty cool. So we went on Pinterest and found a couple of ideas and voila, Damon Squad movie night. Okay. We about to go ahead and start our movie once the kids figure out what they want to watch. Bay is supposed to join us soon. He's not here. He was here earlier, but then he left again. He had to go to Target real quick. So he's going to meet up and link with us. We didn't get him no power rate because he don't be trying to act like he on a diet. So Aiden had got him some coral water because we don't be like, I fail ancient water. Are you ready for the movie now? Yeah, I got a movie. Come on. Peter Pan and Wendy. Why we gotta watch Peter Pan and Wendy? No, it's not the anime version. It's the new one. Comment down below if you guys if you guys watched Peter Pan and Wendy before. Excuse these boxes, y'all. One is a brand deal. One is an order I got from Amazon. Why why are we watching that? It is so good. I I've watched the trailer. I never got to watch it. So I'm gonna watch it. Oh. Alright, we'll watch it. Yeah. Look at the candy bandit. Ah. Omar, you ain't even wait for the movie now. You're just messing up the candy right now. Wait, where there's candy? You knew there was candy. You don't want to help me buy it. They got us watching. What is this called, Aiden? Rim, R I M of the world. Oh, what do you think about this movie, Ozzy? Are we loud. What do you think about the movie? Why are we loud? It's loud. Look at look at Mario. Mario even tuned in. He like, whoa, what's going on in this movie? <laughs> He left us to go play blocks, and now he tuned in. Look who's here! Finally, ready to join his family. Man, you see how my family gonna start moving out without me? Where were you? Where have you popcorn. been? Where have you been? But we're gonna go back to our movie. I just wanted to introduce Bay, y'all. Right. Go ahead and hit the couch, sir. Hit the couch right now. Hit the couch. Hit the couch, sir. Hit the couch. Join your family. <laughs> All right, y'all, so it's officially that moment we've been waiting for. It's Aiden's first day. Are you ready? Let's see your kicks on, you know. Shoes on. I was trying to find a Mario the Crocs and we can't find it now. Y'all, we had a big dilemma because all that shopping I was doing, how about we lost the uniform pants? Like we cannot find where the bag is with the uniform pants. Luckily last night, when I was looking for Aiden's shirt, I couldn't find the shirts nowhere. I had to go to Target. Like, why did I think of Target? I went to like four Walmart, Children's Place, all that stuff, nobody had a shirt. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. Target had like the last two white shirts. We lost the uniform pants and I'm like, dang, when I was at Target, I was like, oh, you know what? I should actually get one more short. That's the short saving our life right now. Look at this kid. And he found a dollar in his old uniform pants. <laughs> But y'all, we about to go ahead and drop Aiden off. I'm gonna close the vlog here because we have to head to the school and complete his registration so he can start. But this is my baby trip. And hold on, y'all, hold on. Why the iron broke? So now Aiden is going to school, semi-wrinkled. We have a lesson. We put it under the mattress to see if it would've worked. Like, you know, if it would've like cleared up or like if it was gonna get straight and it's just kinda wrinkled. But someone pulls too much in this thing. Look, look at the pants. He was like, Mom, nobody's gonna know. I like how the shoes look with the uniform. You know, slight drip, you know. But go ahead, get your book back. Aiden don't want to go with a binder. He says making his back hurt, the paper. So we just had to lighten a little. He going with a notebook. Your book bag still feel heavy. Your jacket, you need a jacket. You don't know if the class is freezing on your first day. You gonna wear it? It's hot outside. You don't even know how hot it is. All right, whatever, let's go. It's kids these days. So when I go outside, 
Your hair look good. It's stuck though. You gotta have to loosen it up. Oh, well, you gotta loosen it up so it don't be laying on each other. All right, you good. Well, any last words for the vlog? See y'all next video. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always having fun cause it's for free. Love it, love it, love it type of tip we on.